On February 20th, a satellite image from Saladi, Russia, about 30 miles from the Ukrainian border, shows a military camp that has largely been emptied. A week earlier, it was busy with troops. equipment, suggesting Russian troops are now on the move. While Russian forces have moved into Ukraine's eastern Donbas region, a large-scale attack is looming just to the north. The Wall Street Journal analyzed dozens of satellite images captured by Maxar Technologies and Planet Labs, verified videos posted to social media, and found that Russian troops and military equipment have moved out of large visible garrisons in Russia and dispersed into smaller, harder to track units along the northeastern border of Ukraine, suggesting what experts say is a military on the verge of a full-scale attack. The Russian troops have moved from their forward staging areas, which are these large camps that you talk about, to essentially much smaller, what could be jumping off points. So. They're moving to areas where they're in their final positions before they would have to move over the border. Russia had been amassing troops and equipment near Ukraine for weeks, which they said were for military exercises. Satellite images from a camp in Yanya, Russia, show a military training area being built up. Images from January 19th show that the camp has expanded and that it's active. These tents are not snow-covered, a sign that they're likely being heated. Here, Bullock identified BM-27 Uragans, which are multiple rocket launcher systems. Battalions made up of what are likely 2S-19s, vehicles with guns designed to shoot shells long distances, and battalions of what looked to be infantry fighting vehicles. But by February 12th, the area had mostly emptied out. Around the same time, satellite images show troops and equipment building up in several regions closer to the Russian-Ukrainian border. At a training area east of Korsk, satellite imagery from February 9th shows a line of empty heavy equipment transporters, likely waiting to be loaded with tanks. Then, four days later, on February 13th, we can see the camp, which Bullock says has expanded in size significantly over the past few weeks, is active. The overturned dirt signals people and equipment are moving around. Also on the 13th, we see Russian military presence in two other key locations close to the Ukraine border. In the Bryansk region, in the Bryansk region, we see Klimovo Air Base, where a new grouping of tents are visible, again with signs they're being heated. In Saladi, which is a camp used regularly by the Russian military, we see a new field camp and signs of movement in the snow. North of Belgorod, we can see a helicopter camp with more than 12 attack and transport helicopters. And on February 15th in Valyuki, we see another field of attack choppers. On February 15th, Russian officials signaled they were de-escalating and withdrawing some troops from the Ukrainian border. Over the following days, cloudy weather obstructed views of many key border locations from satellite images, but videos posted to social media suggest a continued march of soldiers and equipment towards the border with Ukraine, showing what appears to be the Russian military on the verge of attack. The Ukrainian city of Kharkiv is in striking distance, and more troops can quickly be added to the Donbas region. The Ukrainian capital of Kyiv is about 300 miles from the border. This video from Belgorod, which the poster said they filmed on February 15th, shows a train traveling southwest towards the border, carrying various equipment from the 4th Tank Division, including towed howitzers, which shoot artillery shells. A video posted February 16th from Belgorod shows the 4th Tank Division heading south near the border. Bullock says they likely came straight from Moscow, which is significant because it's highly unusual for them to be so far outside their regular training area. On February 16th, in Tomorovka, we see an attack helicopter landing at a civilian airfield. Experts have also identified a short-range air defense system. Bullock says it's partially obscured by a tarp, a sign of camouflage, not storage, and it's in a position to be used. A day later, a video posted on February 17th, roughly 16 miles from the Ukraine border in Rilsk, shows Russian military vehicles, including a heavy equipment transporter with a tank. Then, in a video posted the next day on February 18th, we return to Tomorovka, where Bullock first identified an air defense system. He says that on the air defense system in this clip, the radar, which can be seen here, is now in use. In that same video, we see T-90A tanks positioned on the edge of the woods facing the road, indicating vehicles may now be dispersing further into wooded areas out of sight. You're starting to see equipment moving on its own, under its own steam, 
So you're seeing tanks driving around on roads instead of being transported by trains or heavy equipment transporters. And then on top of that, you're also seeing other small adoptions that forces would likely undertake before they engaged in combat. One example can be seen in videos like this one, posted in Belgorod on February 18th. Experts suspect these markings identify Russian vehicles or convey other tactical information. Tanks hiding in the edge of the woodland and moving into smaller camps that are much more difficult to find. Satellite images from February 21st and 22nd show one of these remote camps where land is likely being cleared for additional troops. And we can see a new field hospital added to a garrison on the outskirts of Belgorod, suggesting possible casualties to come. Thank you.